What's good, man? Your boy BDG back with another video. Hey. I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? Some of y'all been telling you, you know what I'm saying? Pipe up. You feel me? Go crazy. You know what I'm saying? This my time. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? This my time. They sleeping on me, cuz. They sleeping on me, BDG. But. The grind don't stop, my nigga. They gonna see, my nigga. Even if your family don't believe in what you're doing, bro. Keep keep striving, you know what I'm saying? Keep going, keep pushing. Because at the end of the day, it's always a, there's always a reward. <laughs> there's always a reward at the end. Even though it may not be early, you know what I'm saying? It may come, you know what I'm saying? In the future, you know what I'm saying? Three, three years, you feel me? <laughs> Three, three, five years, six years down the road, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? get what I'm trying to say, you feel me? But, uh, yeah, man. For our new viewers, you feel me? Make sure, you know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button, you know what I'm saying? Join the BDG family, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? We gonna excel, we gonna keep, you know what I'm saying? We gonna keep striving, you know what I'm saying? Keep growing as a family, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? On new viewers, you feel me? Be a leader, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna do if you if you wanna be a part of the BG family, you know what I'm saying? The gang, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? You feel me? You can't, you know what I'm saying? You gotta be a leader, cuz. You can't be no bully. You can't be nothing like that, bro. You can't be showing no bad example on a basketball court, football field, you play any sports, you feel me? You can't, you know what I'm saying? No, you can't be saying bad examples, bro. You feel me? You gotta be a leader. We need to Everybody in our group, you know what I'm saying? If your brother need help, you feel me? You wanna go and pick him up, something like that. None of them hate comments, bro. I'm telling y'all, bro, get, get, you know what I'm saying? If you see somebody in our family, you know what I'm saying, get hate comments, you feel me? Help them out, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm saying. But uh, other than that, you know what I'm saying? Kinda get, got off topic, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know what I'm saying, you feel me? It's what you do, man, what you do. But uh, today, man, let me uh, switch this, man. Yeah, I'm raw. I'm raw, you feel me? So, today, man, we got the 12 dumbest robberies called on camera, bro. Now, uh, man, I'm telling you right now, bro. <laughs> you gotta be stupid, bro. Imagine, imagine you, imagine you talking shit to somebody talking about, bro. You can't really can't get this from the story, you feel me? You can't get that from the story, you feel me? I'm an expert at this, you know what I'm saying? And then your friend be like, all right, bet, you know what I'm saying? You talk all this shit, you know what I'm saying? You come show me, you feel me? You show me, the fuck you, nigga, why you fucking, why the fuck you asking me? You know, you can rob, you know, you know what I'm saying? And he'll keep like, all right, bet, I'm gonna show you. And then go in the store and get caught. Man, man, you know, man, I wouldn't even fuck with that nigga, bro. I wouldn't even fuck with that nigga, for sure. He, nah, bro. That's a lane right there. That's a lane. That's a lane, bro. That nigga's a bust. He's a bust. A bust. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, BDG, let's get to this, man. This I ain't gonna lie, BDG. It's gonna be like a, uh, probably about, like, you know what I'm saying, 13, 14 minute video. But, you know what I'm saying? I had an extra time to y'all. Extra time to y'all. You feel me? Yo, if y'all bored, you know what I'm saying? I know this was just a vibe to get on here. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Now, let's get to this video. You know what I'm saying? All the new viewers, hit that subscribe button right now. Right now. Three, two, one. My dudes. <laughs> All right. You know, so let's get to it, man. Do you love action movies about car chases and spectacular nice. robberies? <laughs> Many of us prefer this movie genre because it gives us a sense of thrill. Even if you know that the movie will have a happy ending, you are still on the edge of your seat thanks to plot twists. Of course, the heroes overcome all the obstacles. The Alright, y'all. Uh, my bad, y'all. Uh, my bad, BDG. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying, my, you know what I'm saying? I, I had to make sure I was safe. I was in the safe zone, you feel me? And I wasn't just recording this while my audio wasn't coming out, you feel me? Just want to double check. Now, let's get back into the video, bro. <clears throat> let's get back into this bit. But, by the way, you know what I'm saying? This is 12 Demons Robberies caught on camera, so let's get it. Yeah. 
seems to favor the cunning thieves. Jesus. Well, movies often have little to do with real life, where only a few criminals can be considered masterminds, and that's a good thing. Today, we will tell you about the most absent-minded, stupid, and forgetful criminals in the get world. Then, well, let's bro. get it on. Man, bro, you, you want to know one thing that I hate, bro? Is the niggas that just be sitting in here talking about, you're going to you're gonna start to learn, you know what I'm saying? The eight master criminal minds, you feel me? You about to learn this and that and also learn this before you get to that. But before you get to that, you got to listen to me. I'm going to talk all this shit. I'm going I'm to you know, stay right here and keep talking, you feel me? And the nigga not even, we, he not he just talking, bro. Get to the video, you feel me? Like, bro, nigga be talking and that's not, he not even a part of the video because he's just talking, bro. Police bike. It's 2020, and people are trying to abandon cars in favor of environmentally friendly transport. In any large city with favorable climate conditions, you can find hundreds of bicycle parking lots and paths. However, for some reason, this thief from the American city of Gladstone, Oregon, chose the worst possible place to steal a bike. The entrance to the local police station. What do you think you... Bro, my nigga. Matter of fact, I'm not. I'm not even about to say nothing. You know what I'm saying? We we just about to watch this. Let's see what happened. Let's see what happened. BDJ, tell me what happened down in the comments, bro. Bro, who tries to still like, bro? You know what I'm saying? You already know what happened next. Almost immediately, a local officer left the building and, struck by such audacity, arrested the offender on the spot. Perhaps bro, first of all, why did he try to dip? Before when the officer came out, he walked to him. He tried to, he tried to, I don't know what he grabbed, but he tried to grab something and did. Man, bro, you did, like, that was just bad, bro, right there, because you down bad after that, because you, so you acting scared, bro. You can't be acting scared around these cops, bro, especially if you black, because, nah, you know what I'm saying? For any race, you feel me? Like, bro, why would you, you know what I'm saying, bro? This nigga got no game, bro. Sorry, God. The thief thought that law enforcement officers would be too busy to notice him, but he did not think about one thing. In any decent police station, there are cameras at the entrance. Thanks My to nigga. them, the rob- Why would you go to the police station to rob? Why would you even think about going to the police station? You can even go to the library, my nigga. You can go to schools, my nigga. Go to, like I said, a library, my nigga. Kids go there, you know, right? They bike to the library. You chose the police station. Nigga, uh, you trying to like, oh, I should rob a police station. No, better I don't want to rob it. You might well walk inside, you know, some, some GTA stuff, and just be, bop, you know what I'm saying? What the, you might well, you just dumbest, you dumbest, bro. You dumb, bro. You try a bike from a police station, bro. Obviously he has cameras, my God. What you think? Oh, uh, no, I don't think they're going to have cameras because there's going to be police walking around there. Man, just so stupid eyes, bro. Robber was spotted. A robber without a mask. What is the most important thing to disguise when committing a crime? That's right, fingerprints and your face. The first can be easily concealed using special gloves. And to hide your face, you could use a mask or a balaclava. Everyone knows that. The culprit from this video, it seems, also knew this, but got a little confused. He entered into the store with a gun, looking directly at the camera with his face uncovered. Then he stopped for a second, apparently realizing something was wrong. For several seconds, he struggles to put on a mask. Like, this not making no sense. Hold up, bro. I gotta skip this. Ah, man. Mask that. Bro. He gotta, like, he gotta be the most clueless. This is what I be talking about when people would just be saying stupid questions, bro. When people just be saying stupid questions, bro. Or somebody say, man, bro, oh, my God, bro, oh, my God, bro. Man, bro, today, uh, bro, I was, I was at school, bro, and this dude, so we was doing a project for, like, you know what I'm saying, for anything, for this English and stuff, bro. So, man, bro, we sitting, uh, we sitting right there, bro, and we, we up next, so we presenting. No, I do, bro, he didn't even want to present for real, because 
I guess he was mad or something. So, man, bro. <laughs> but he went up there anyway. So, man, I'm presenting, bro. And at the end, you know what I'm saying? You get, you know what I'm saying? The uh, people, class, uh, the classroom, you know what I'm saying? The kids, bro. They're not kids. Like, they know them motherfuckers. But, uh, you feel me? They get that uh, answer or actual question. Man, now this dude, bro. I don't know how to say his name because like, I ain't about to be on the sports and stuff. You feel me? But this dude, bro. The shoe that are so we personally made a shoe is called. I ain't about to tell you the name because we might that company might actually go real, but you know what I'm saying. Like this dude, bro. So the shoe, the max of the shoe, cause is five inches. The max of the shoe, cause it's gonna, it's a shoe that make you. Uh, damn, I'm not about to, yeah, as a matter of fact, that's what I'm like. It's a shoe that make you jump like super high. Like you don't need to work your calves, you'll be able to jump. You'll be, you'll be able to dunk, do everything. Have hops, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna make you tall at that. Like it's gonna add height on it, but at the end, at the same time, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Feel me? So, <sighs> but uh, damn. Matter of fact, bro. Matter of fact, bro. That's gonna be another story, bro. Another story. Another story. Matter of fact, bro, I ain't even make a story yet, bro. If y'all y'all want even want me to start story time, you feel me? I did make one story, but you know what I'm saying? Got a whole lot of stories on But if y'all want me to do story times, you feel me? Because I got a lot of story times for y'all boys. You feel me? If y'all want me to do story times, you know what I'm saying? Comment down below, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Let me get Yeah. And we definitely don't do story time. But let's get does not fit, and only then enthusiastically proceeds to rob the cashier. Maybe the guy thought that the purpose of the mask was only to intimidate the cashier. <laughs> Creative outfit. It seems that the problem we mentioned in the previous video is common among criminals. This burglar also forgot to wear a mask. The potential burglar showed up at the door of the store at night in polka dot clown pants. After realizing that he did not put his mask on, the offender disappeared from the camera's field of view and returned with a heavy bottle. But- Bro, first of all, why would you come back, bro? You a damn fool. <laughs> <laughs> You a damn fool. You was a damn f How you, bro? You, first of all, you made a mistake again. Like the last dude. You ain't put on your mask. You supposed to put on your mask, man. Have you, have you ever played GTA? You know what I'm saying? Even though GTA, even though the game, bro, you put on your mask, you go, you supposed to put on your mask before you go to the robbery. Not when you actually near the robbery that you're trying to do, bro. And then she gonna she gonna forget her mask or whatever this thing is, bro. Forget the mask, come back and get caught. This video would be too long though, too long. The shopkeepers apparently are smart people because the glass door was strong enough to withstand the blow. And then the criminal realized that he failed and man, you just went down bad after that. You okay, man? BDG, you tell me. You feel me? How the hell do this make sense? First of all, you you own a property with no mask. Then you throw something, a brick at it, and it don't break. Cause you, and then you come back. Tell me this, tell me this thing. Fled the crime scene. And if that were not enough, he also stumbled and fell while trying to run away. Chainsaw in the pants. All right, I'm about to skip for a while. Hiding things under clothes is a fairly common practice among novice thieves, but everyone realizes that only a small thing can fit under a t-shirt or in your pocket. Well, this guy apparently didn't know this. Walking around the construction tool store, he decided to steal a chainsaw. He wanted to avoid attracting <laughs> unnecessary attention, but he couldn't think of anything better nah. than shoving it right under his clothes. The sharp part in a protective case slid right into the trousers, and the heavy motor disappeared right under his t-shirt. Then the criminal went to the parking lot, got on his bike, which, by the way, was also stolen, and drove off. Fortunately, the officer noticed his suspicious behavior in time and managed to track the offender's route. The police patrol soon arrived to detain the culprit, Darth Vader. The guy from this video decided to be original and use a more interesting disguise instead of the usual mask or a balaclava. He chose the sinister mask of Darth Vader, the legendary character from the Star Wars saga. You're the chosen one! I'm the chosen one! I'm the chosen one! I'm the chosen one! 
There was only one issue, or rather, a few of them. First, he went into the store with the mask in his hands. That is, the camera has already recorded his face. After realizing this, he... Voice I God swear. Is the number one real-time voice changer for game... These some stupid libraries, bro. Gamers and content creators. Put the mask on, Sorry. but not... Sorry for people that made the mask behind the skit, bro. This shit gonna be too long. Not for long. It turned out that the poor fellow put on the mask the wrong way, so he had to remove it again and show his face to the camera a second time. Gun drop. Usually, thieves choose stores with a lot of cash at the checkout or with expensive goods, for example, a pharmacy with rare drugs. It is unclear what logic this guy followed, but he clearly did not choose the best place for a robbery. It was an electronic vaporizer store, and according to the owner, he had $100 tops at the checkout cash register. But the hero of this video could not even get to the money. He showed up at an empty store wearing black glasses and a cap. He went straight to the cash register, leaving his fingerprints on the glass door, suddenly took the gun out of his pocket, and and dropped it right beyond the counter. Well, it's okay, he apparently thought, and clumsily jumped on the counter to get the weapon back, but the agile store employee was already ahead of him. In the end, the thief simply had to flee the scene of a failed crime. Recorded from all angles. Perhaps the perfect choice for any thief is a store where there are no surveillance cameras, although today there probably aren't any. Criminals want to leave as little evidence as possible. But the heroes of this video decided they would do it the hard way. It is not entirely clear whether this was an accident or a pre-planned operation, but for some reason, two offenders decided to rob a store stuffed with hidden cameras. Yes, you heard right. This store sells camera- Oh, they was on some GTA, ca the casino heist. My boys, Jay, feel me, all y'all. Nah, y'all probably know what I'm talking about, but feel me, everybody else, BDG, feel me? You know what I'm saying? They part BDG too, bro. Uh, yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. They don't know GTA highs, cuz. <laughs> it's so stupid, bro. It's not GTA, cuz. These type of niggas that. See, this is gonna be one of y'all, hey, little kids, that's watching this, you feel me? Y'all gonna be one of them GTA. Y'all gonna be trying to act like GTA in real life, bro. Don't do it. Do not do it, bro. Oh, fuck awesome. only, And of course, in such a place, it would be stupid not to install a comprehensive surveillance system. The owners did just that. So the robbery was recorded from all possible angles by 17 cameras. Damn. You will see footage this detail, but even on TV. Tricky brick. <laughs> Today, tempered glass is no longer such a rare and expensive material, and it is often used to protect not only cars, but also various rooms for break-ins. Apparently, the robber did not count on this. He decided to use the most common material to... Don't tell me he tried to use a rock. If he used a rock, I, I lost all, I lost fully respect for this nigga. Now, cross he just took a heat. He knew he was about to the restaurant. A brick. Well, it's not difficult to guess what happened next. The massive block bounced right back into the head of the criminal, and as a result, <laughs> he simply fainted, and his failure was captured on camera. Another not only did he not fail, he fainted after that. So he just. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> So basically, you just arresting yourself. You got yourself caught. It happened in Ireland, this time with a car. The criminal is trying to break the side window of the car with a brick, but even after the second attempt, the glass is still intact. This does not discourage the criminal, and he decides to find something bigger. And then the most epic thing happens. A huge piece of brick bounces right back into the guy's face, and he gets knocked out cold on the spot. <laughs> By the way, the owner of the car... <laughs> why are y'all you, you doing this, bro? The new car is not going to break through like that, guys. Like, what? <laughs> this is not 1917 to 72, bro. You feel me? This ain't it, bro. So, y'all just think that y'all just... This man going to throw a big brick and not think it's going to bounce back at him. Or something going to get, like, even if he broke the glass, the glass would come brushing that. Who appeared sometime later initially decided that someone had attacked the criminal. However, the latter soon regained consciousness and began to threaten the owner. Thankfully, the unfortunate thief was arrested by the police on the same day. Thief Trap 
Watch and learn, business owners. An entrepreneur, Peggy Burnt from Vancouver, Canada, has suffered a lot during her time as an owner of a telephone repair service. In the end, she decided to put an end to a series of robberies once and for all. First, the employees began to take away all the valuable goods from the store for the night. And second, Peggy decided to set an interesting trap right at the entrance. The hero of this video got right into it. He managed to enter the shop, but it went downhill from there. Realizing that there was nothing to steal there, the guy decided to quickly disappear. But he he couldn't break through the gate, either at the front or the emergency exit, so he struggled with it until the police arrived. A smart owner. The owner of- I ain't gonna lie, he why? He why? He struggled, he said- They said that he struggled with it until the police got there. My nigga. <laughs> if that was somebody black, they would have been gone, cuz. No, I don't got nothing to do with nothing, bro. You feel me? I'm just telling you, bro. If that was us, you feel me? We would be out of it, you know what I'm saying? Simple. We would be out of it. But I don't know. It maybe was just him. Something maybe, maybe just wrong with him, bro. Something about him we don't know about. You feel me? This store, too, was tired of break-ins and found an even more creative solution to his problem. He set up a real trap inside, just like in a video game. It is a room where a potential burglar ends up immediately after he gets into the store. There are three doors inside, but not one of them can be broken, <laughs> including the one that just slammed right behind the thief. Too bad these surveillance cameras do not record sound, although you can feel the panic of the criminal simply by looking at the image. Judging by the timer on the screen, he had to spend an entire hour in the room before the police arrived, while he was desperately trying to find at least some sort of escape route. Well, he got what he deserved. Spectacular fall. And here we have probably the most ridiculous crime in history. It all started like an ordinary burglary. A guy and a girl enter a regular grocery store, which looks like a mini market at a gas station. While the girl was waiting at the entrance, her companion paid for her purchase, one can of Pepsi. He used a stolen card, and his behavior caused suspicion among store owners. They promptly called the police, and the officers arrived quickly. A fight ensued, and while the police were trying to subdue the guy, the girl ran away into the utility room and climbed higher, somewhere right above the ceiling of the store. Well, then... You can see what happened. A lot of commotion for a single can of soda. An Oscar-worthy performance. In countries where health insurance benefits reach impressive amounts, people are willing to do many tricks for the sake of profit. <laughs> This man, for example, tried to trick the insurance company with a simple performance clearly worthy of an Oscar. This story happened in the break room of the company, where the man was working at that time. Look Just look how great- Hold up, bro. What are you looking at? You. Yeah, hey, what you mean, bro? See? Bro, I'm, so, I'm weird. Y'all weird, bro. Stop looking at me. Gracefully, he fell, pretending to slip on the ice from his drink. The man was lying on the floor until his colleagues found him, and then he demanded a large insurance payments for treatment. The deception was revealed when his application was reviewed, and officers looked at the recordings from a hidden camera and saw this incredible scene. Hey, stop being lazy. It's time to use that brain of yours. Welcome to Brain Time. Is this incredible that? facts from the past, the present. See, see they were trying to get me, bro. But hey, y'all, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's it for this video. Y'all, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? Make sure, boys, you know what I'm saying? So hit, hit that subscribe button on you. All, all the new viewers. Every, I mean, everybody, you feel me? On the new viewers, you know what I'm saying? If y'all like, you feel me? If y'all want to rock with me, you know what I'm saying? Because we're going to grow on this channel, you feel me? It's a whole family. Every, all race, you know what I'm saying? Included. I don't, I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm with everybody, you know what I'm saying? We a family, you feel me? Brothers, you know what I'm saying? Leaders. You know what I'm saying? If you want to be in here, you got to be a leader, you feel me? But, you know what I'm saying? But not BDJ, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Your boy BJ, you know what I'm saying? We out, something like that, man. Peace.